dab a few dabs of white on our mixing tray. I need more white. Okay. And then grab some of your blue. It could be the sparkly blue, it could be the regular. This is these are your flowers, okay? And what I want you to do is I want you to create some different shades or actually it's tints because we're using white, not black. So basically, I want you to create some different lightness and darknesses piles on your mixing plate. So maybe a medium, maybe a light, maybe a dark with just a little white in it so that you have some choices to dip into when you're making your flowers. Okay? Need a new mixing plate. Yeah, 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 I gave her some white so she can do different variants, do different variants of blue. So you have a medium blue, a darker blue, a super light blue. Uh -huh. So then you can make the flowers look real cool. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. So look up here. Do you see this word? Can anybody read it? Value. Value. Do you see this blue face? See how it's all different blues? That's exactly what we're doing. So we're creating different values of blue. So now you just learned an art term too. Mm. That's how we make things look real, right? Because not everything is the same shade. So if you look at somebody's face, do you see how it's all skin color, but it's light, medium, and dark skin tone? Same thing we're doing with blue, except for it's flowers. All right, everybody ready? Got some different blues? No, not yet. 